Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a massive Halloween and fall Timu haul. I'm so excited to share the things I got with you guys. My name is Melissa for those of you who are new here and I don't know where to start if I should start with decor or if I should start with clothes because I'm going to also be doing a little try on for all of the clothing items that I got and there are a ton of Halloween clothing items and they're so freaking cute. I guess I'll just start right now with the things that you can see. So this hat, it's like a little felt witch hat. It's so adorable. And um, yeah, this was I think $6 or something. I'll try to put the prices here if I can find them still. I've been ordering this stuff over the past couple of months. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to find the exact prices. And also I'm not sure if the prices stay the same because it seems like they fluctuate a lot. So even if I show you a price here, it might end up different when you guys buy it. Just depends. I guess I'll show you this next because I have it here with me. But this is an adorable pillowcase. It's an 18 by 18, I'm pretty sure. And look at the pattern of these. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, it's such a bright, pretty orange. And I wasn't sure where I was going to use these. If it was going to be for my couch or my bed. But I'm doing a Halloween bed, you guys. And everything I got is from Timu. So... Hold on until the end and I'm going to share you guys my Halloween bedroom decor and it is, you don't want to miss it, it's so cute. That little pillowcase is a set of two and then I got this little plushie. It's so cute, my son has been snuggling it every night but I use it to decorate my bed as well so there's an orange black and white theme going on and speaking of that, this beautiful ghosty it's a shower curtain behind me is from Timu as well and these were I think $11 a piece which is a pretty good price for a material type of <laughs> shower curtain. I got two of those as well but they are different patterns and the other one is in my bedroom and that one I'm just going to tell you now it has bats on it and it's so cute. I know it's kind of funny that we have a shower curtain in our bedroom, but it fits the window and it looks cute and I don't care, it's just for Halloween. Also, we're about to get our last four single pane Victorian windows removed and replaced and I'm so excited to have a nice window behind our bed. This fleece little ghost blanket is from Timu and also the duvet cover which gives me Beetlejuice vibes. It comes with two pillowcases as well. If you want to know where any of these other pillows are from, definitely comment below and I will let you know, but mostly they're from Walmart and Dollar Tree last year and also this year. I love how all of this turned out. I think it's so cute together and also I got orange sheets at Timu and it's only a fitted sheet and then I got pillowcases that are also orange and they were separate. The color was almost the exact same orange, you can't even tell the difference. And then I also got up here these solar lights, so I had them outside and then I brought them in and hung them up here and I love how they look. They're very dim, so they're perfect for the bedroom. I just put the solar panel in my bedroom window and it works perfectly, so every night they just glow on their own. The material to the sheets and pillowcases seem like they're great quality, there wasn't any rips or anything wrong with them, and they don't get like unusually sweaty or anything, they seem like they're a cotton material. I really love these. And speaking of bats, look at this sweater. Freaking adorable! So this is also from Timu. As is this t-shirt, Sanderson Sisters Brewing Company. This is like the cutest thing ever and now I want to go to a brewery around Halloween time and wear this, <laughs> this t-shirt. Also, I got this adorable little ghost necklace. I got this one in silver. I have one of these that looks similar that I like even better off of Amazon and it's gold, but I wanted to have a silver option too because I like to switch my jewelry out a lot. This is what it looks like all buttoned up. It's very cute. I'll put my measurements here to help you guys out. I'm only 5'2", and this one seemed like the perfect length for me. This would probably even be cute with like a little front tuck. I also want to show you what it looked like open because this is most likely how I'll be wearing it, probably with this t-shirt underneath. This t-shirt is my favorite of all of the t-shirts. I think this one would fit the best. It just wasn't too oversized, the sleeves weren't too terribly long, and I loved the way this one fit me. 
I wanted to show you guys how it looked untucked and without the sleeves rolled, just in case you were curious, but I just first show you how I would be wearing it. And um, this is probably my favorite two shirts that I got in this haul. So I'm showing you these ones first. Then I got this stunning, sparkly, little maple leaf and it is absolutely beautiful. I've been wearing this one a lot this fall as well. And I got this moon which has dried flowers in it and it's so pretty and dainty and I feel like all of these were a dollar or two dollars. I can't exactly remember right now. I got a huge necklace haul on my uh, last Timo haul so if you guys want to see tons of necklaces from there go check out that video. I will link that one below as well. And then I got a couple pair of earrings so these ones are so cute and so sparkly. They're really big but they're gonna be so much fun to wear and look at these tiny tiny little shiny golden ghosts. Oh my goodness you guys I can't wait to wear these ones they're so perfect I just love them I should be wearing them for this video another adorable accessory I got is these little ghost hair clips I got one ghost and then this is really sad I'm gonna have to write Timu and tell them I did get a broken item and I was really excited about this one but um it's a bat hair clip so oh my gosh how cute when you wear your bun to have it like showing on the back of your head so I don't know, it was just wrapped, you know, in a big pouch when it came, so. My daughter ended up sticking this back together with nail glue, and it is, like, strong now. I can't believe it actually worked, but it's so cute and adorable. I love the bat one even more, but here's the ghost one. What do you guys think? They also had some other ones as well, but these two were my favorite. So I know I have a whole bunch of vintage lovers out there that are following me and I have to show you these. It came with a little thing of twine and they're supposed to be able to be like hung up across your fireplace mantle or wherever you want. Um, but these are made to look vintage. There are tons of different vintage looking, oh, that one's upside down, but different vintage prints and they're wood. And they seem like they're like amazing quality. I'm actually kind of shocked how good these are. There's some, hold on, I want to show you all of them in case you guys want to find these for yourself. But um, yeah, they were so cheap too. Ooh, she got a warty nose. Where's that one? Oh, it's a, a candy bag. I thought it was a dress at first. A bow with an eyeball. And oh, this one's probably one of my favorites. A kitty on a pumpkin and a gravestone. A couple of really cute little fall items I got. I don't know if these are supposed to be like mini shirts charcuterie boards. <laughs> I can't ever say that word. Um, but it came in four different wood cutouts. There's also an acorn and something else, but they're absolutely adorable. And I wanted to do like a fall themed tablescape. So this would be so cute to put like nuts or M&Ms or whatever on. For that tablescape, I also got a lacy leaf table runner and I already put it on my table along with some other things that I got here on Timu just because I wanted to kind of try it out, see if it fit. And uh, you guys might have seen that in my last video, but I will share that with you again right here. This is the third color mushroom that I got and they had other ones as well. These flowers are way too big to go in here, but I just have them sitting in here right now so they don't get broken because I have to put them back into a bigger base, but aren't these just the cutest things ever? I almost forgot to share with you guys these adorable fall finds. So this is a table runner. It is, I believe, like 72 inches long. It was a tiny bit short for my table, but I put this over the top of another tablecloth and it looked so pretty for fall. Um, you guys can see a little glimpse of that, share what that looked like in the vintage Halloween hunt video. And then I also got these beautiful little vases. I'll try to lay it down for you guys. I got the brown one, the yellow one, and they're all a little bit different. This one only has one little hole on the top, and then the green one. 
and both the green and the brown have three little holes but they are in different places and they're different shapes as well. You can also get these in I believe two other colors. I know for sure there's like a pink colored one. Probably be using this set for Thanksgiving and do a little tablescape. If you guys want to see it then stay tuned. I picked up this beautiful canvas wall hanging and I don't know if I will put this in a frame or put it in one of those like little scroll type of things but this is really good quality it's so cool and so spooky and I absolutely love this picture it's just the best thing ever so I can't wait to decorate with this <laughs> got a couple of these over the door hangy things and I'm really bummed again I got another broken thing you can see right there it's like broken um, but these are made of wood they are very fragile but I think it'll look so cool over a little door frame or I don't know around a closet or something like that so to show you the broken one anyways they also had these and I think like three other prints maybe uh, but yeah, this is the one I love the most. I'm so sad it's broken. I'm gonna try to just glue it because I don't even want to deal with like trying to return it. But um, yeah, I'll just fix it. Whatever. It was a dollar or two, so. Here is what those look like up on the door frame, and I think they are so cute. I ended up just gluing the little ghosties with like a dot of Elmer's glue and it worked perfectly. Which one do you guys like better? I decided to put them both in one room. Also, if you guys haven't been to a Dollar General, you need to go there. That massive canvas was only 12 bucks and they have other patterns too. Another accessory are these shoes. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at these shoes. So they called these blue on the website, but they definitely, I mean, I guess maybe they're kind of like a navy blue, but they're just so freaking adorable. They're not like, you know, super squishy or anything like that. I mean, it's a little squishy, but I wasn't expecting them to be like super high quality or anything, but they're absolutely adorable and I am going to be wearing these like the whole month of October. So I love them so much. I guess they go like this. But they had a whole bunch of like off-brand Keds, Vans, uh, what are the other ones? I don't know. There were so many shoes on there that had like prints on them and I really wanted to try a pair of those as well but I ended up chickening out this time and I just got these like, I don't know what you'd call this material, like burlap? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they are but they're definitely, they're not scratchy or anything like that but I love them. I'm pretty much always a size 8 in shoes and I got a size 8 and they fit me perfectly. They aren't too big, they aren't too small, and they're nice and like stretchy, this material, so they're really comfortable. I think even if they were a tiny bit tight, they'd probably still fit because there's some stretch to them. Also, um, I got some purses. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. So that's the thing you have to know that Every, not everything that you get on Timu is going to be like the picture. Read the measurements every single time. Um, I guess I knew this was going to be short, but I was expecting it to not be like a flat piece of pleather. I don't know, but it doesn't even have like something to close on <laughs> top with. So this would be cute for like a toddler. Like if my girls were little, I totally would like they would have loved this to put a chapstick in there or something. You could even put your own snap in there. But I think what I'm going to do with this is make some kind of decoration out of it. I'll probably just take the strap off or maybe I will do some kind of like cute, um, I don't know, by the door hanging. What are those like stretchy? hook things where I can like hang like a little broom on it and like stuff like this and just like use it as a decoration. I don't know. It was cute though. Again, <laughs> look how tiny this thing is. It's like so small, but I thought this was going to be like a cute bag that I could like do side sling and like wear it with an autumnal sweater, but apparently that's not the case and this just kind of opens like that and then you have to put it back on, but, uh, but blah, blah, blah. Again, this would be adorable for a toddler or a little girl or something like that. Or even like 
I don't know, maybe if we're out like leaf collecting, me, I can bring my son out leaf collecting and I can just bring this and we can put our favorite leaves in here or something and come home and do a craft. But this would also be cute hanging up as a decoration or even taking the string off of it and just using it as like a table decor for a tablescape because it would be able to just sit up and um, you can put candies or something in there. But I still love it. They're still both really cute, just not for a purse. I did get one purse that is amazing <laughs> it's not I don't know I'm actually shocked about how good this quality is it's not you know like some high-end thing I don't buy high-end purses anyways but it's very cute and it, this one is very spacious I have a huge Samsung phone and it fits in here <laughs> and it's just so freaking adorable it matches my background and so yeah, I'm definitely going to be using this one all October. I'm glad that one of my purses was not a fail. And this one does come in black with white eyes as well. And that one is also super cute. beginning of the video I shared with you guys a pillowcase that I got or a set of two that were the same and now I'm going to be sharing with you guys a billion pillowcases because I found all of these pillowcases they were the ones I wanted to get on Amazon for the past couple years and then I saw them on Timu and I was like oh my gosh I have to try these I hope that they're gonna be good and they are they are so cute and you guys I got like sets of four a whole bunch of different sets of four so I'm going to be decorating with these in my house also on my back deck and on my patio so I've got tons and tons of like cheapy small pillows from like Walmart and I just reuse them for everything and I just keep switching out the pillowcase so this is one set of them and it's very like neutral spooky oh my goodness I like love the pictures on these ones and they're made again of this like burlapy material this is what the back looks like so the back is not printed on and then they have a zipper and they're all um 18 by 18. here is the next set of four so cute these ones are like the vintage style and I love that and I can't wait. I haven't really decorated my deck yet, but I love to. This is the next set of four. Um, so our deck is fairly new. These are the Sanderson ones, Salem Broom Company. Uh, we just built it a couple of years ago. Sparkling candle. And um, this house was built in 1900 for those of you who are new here. We are fixing our house up as we live in it. So it is it's a lot sometimes but it's also really fun because we get to do everything the way we want and we're switching out some things but we're leaving a lot of things the same as well like we don't want to knock down all the walls and like take down all of the old special pieces parts about the house because we do love history but we also want to add some like newer stuff to it and just make it like clean and livable and um, nice as well so I've got a few videos already on my channel sharing some things that we've changed out in the past and we've got a whole bunch more coming and it's just crazy busy and I feel like we're starting so many projects at once and like not getting them done like decorated <laughs> to share with you guys like the finished product and so my husband is a landscaper and he is only home for a couple months in the winter with me and so a lot of times we will be trying to get stuff done during those times but also he needs a break so I don't know it's hard to share with you guys what we've done already and I'm trying to figure out how to do that in a video because we have done so much over like the whole past winter and spring and summer already and I haven't been sharing it with you guys because I don't know like how exactly to share it so I'm going to be doing like an updated video coming up soon of like things that we've been up to it's just a lot of work so it might be like more this winter but yeah it's definitely coming probably after like holiday stuff and then my hus hubby will be home and we'll be working hard on the house again and sharing lots more stuff with you guys about this cool old house that we love so much uh, in the future all right and then I got another hat which you guys have probably seen in a different video recently 
because I was wearing this. Actually, this, this video might be up before those two videos, but um, this hat is so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. And um, I was wearing this hat in like two videos that I just made recently, but those ones might actually be coming up after this one because they are Halloween DIY. So stay tuned for those if you haven't seen them yet. I feel like it's a tiny bit big on my head, but it's okay. It's really cute still. And uh, I want to show you this lamp I got also, and it is so cool. So basically it's just like this really cool old vintage looking light bulb on a cord and it has like the on and off button and uh, this little cute crow nevermore he holds on to it and just sits on like a desktop or table or whatever i'm just struggling to show you but i'll show you it set up with the light on as well but this is so cute all right now i'm going to be showing you all of the adorable freaking clothes that i found on timu for halloween this one is the old Salem Broom Company, so it's kind of similar to this brewing one that I have on now. This one is in a size small, and I really love the how this one fits me. I've been loving the t-shirts from there, actually. I've had a lot of really good luck with the fit of them, and I just think they're soft and flowy, and they're really nice. They're thin, they're not too tight in your armpits or anywhere else around the midsection and I just really love these. I think honestly I'm having better luck here than I am shopping for Walmart t-shirts and I do buy a lot of t-shirts at Walmart. They fit more like a men's t-shirt than like a junior's fitted t-shirt and I love that. You guys might think that this one's a little bit funky but okay I love Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> My dad is obsessed with Hawaiian shirts and it just I don't know it's so cute and tropical but Anyways, this reminds me of a Hawaiian shirt. It also just reminds me of like a cool old vintage shirt. So it is a men's shirt, so you can totally buy this for your man or buy it for yourself if you are a man. <laughs> but I love the prints on it. And you guys, they have so many cool ones right now. But I plan on wearing this probably like tied up and make it look like this cute little like vintage tie up shirt and maybe roll the sleeves possibly too. I think this shirt is so cute and I picture wearing it if I was like in Florida or something. I'd be wearing it with some cut off shorts and a little bandana tied up in my hair. Probably a Halloween bandana, something that looks vintage. But I love the way that this looks. Uh, tied up and with the sleeves rolled sadly it is white inside so when you roll the sleeves like it isn't you know colored but I still think it looks cute like that it definitely is a very very silky material so I don't know how well they would stay rolled you could always put a little stitch in there if you want to do like a hand stitch but I did want to show you how long this is and it is long so if you guys are tall you would love it one is definitely big on me because it's a size men's medium that's the smallest that they had but that's okay and then i got this gray sweatshirt oh my gosh do you see this it's so cute it's the most wonderful season of the year and that's true and this is me the skeleton throwing and dancing in the leaves that's how i feel every single autumn I love the print on this shirt. It feels like it's really good quality. I think it's so cute. I definitely wish that I would have got a medium. This definitely fits me fine, but I like my sweatshirts to be a little oversized because I have very, very long arms for a short person, and I like to be able to grab onto the edge of my sleeve, <laughs> and I can just barely do that with this, but it is cute, and I do love it. I got another sweatshirt, which is this one. And so this one, it says up to no good, but this one reminded me of a childhood book, Go Dog Go. If you guys know, you know, the, the page with like the dogs in the rowboat rowing at night under the moon. And it just like, it felt nostalgic for me. And I don't know, I just loved it so much. I also got this one in a size small. It is basically the same fit as the last one. Very cute still. I still love it, but wish it was just the tiniest bit longer in my sleeves. I recommend sizing up if you guys get these. Also, I'm not going to be drying these, but I don't dry like any of my clothes, so I'm just going to wash it and air dry it. If the decal doesn't survive the washing machine, I'll let you know. 
This one I think might be a men's t-shirt. I don't even know what, I believe I got a small, but it's huge. So I didn't like this one as much. This one, I don't know, it's just not my favorite like print and stuff. I might give this one to one of my kids. Where's the tag? This one is a small, so this must be like a men's small because it's way bigger than the other small. It's still cool. I might still wear it. I don't know. I just like my other t-shirts that I have better so far, so. I don't know if you guys can even tell on camera, but it's definitely longer and the sleeves are much longer as well. It's also just kind of like wider all around. It's not a big difference, but I can feel it. But also somehow I felt like this one was like higher up on my throat, which it doesn't look like it in the video. I don't know. I just didn't love this shirt. And I asked my daughter and she was like, oh my gosh, yes, I love it. So somebody loved it, just not me. Then I got this one oversized on purpose because this is the only one I could find and it's a 0XL and uh, they didn't have this in standard sizing and I just really liked it and I feel like this one was like really cheap, like four bucks or something crazy. And so I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to get it anyway and have like a big giant oversized one that I can like wear around the house. I'm probably going to be wearing it like a dress because I'm only 5'2". But I do think it's really cute. I might also cut the bottom off because a lot of times I do that with my sweatshirts and I just crop them and then roll up the sleeves and I think it looks really cute. I know everything tells you that if you're short, you're not supposed to wear long shirts, but I don't think that this is that bad. Maybe it's just because I was born in the early 80s and I love this size of <laughs> shirt, oversized, roll up the sleeves, cuff everything, do a front tuck, I don't know. I'm not like huge on 80s, I'm more like obsessed with 70s fashion and stuff, but I don't know, there's still a little part of me that just... This is how I like to wear my sweatshirts. I also like to roll my t-shirts and front tuck my t-shirts. And it's kind of coming back in style. So it all works out. For all you neutral lovers, I got, well, this isn't technically neutral because there's orange on it. But um, I got this cute neutral hoodie. And I do love this one. It definitely has like a bit of like a, I don't know what you would call this fabric. It's, it's still very soft, but it feels like bouncy, like thick and bouncy. So I don't know. It's a little different. I don't think it's like cotton, but I do think it's cute and it's kind of more neutral and fun because I feel like everything I have is like black and gray. This hoodie is in a size small and I feel like it fits really well. The sleeves are longer than the crew neck sweatshirts, which I was very happy with. And I thought I might hate this material, but I kind of love it. It feels very warm and it's so thick that it like hides all of your like bra bumps and all the kind of bumps <laughs> and the hood is a pretty good size as well which I'll show you in a minute the black one is smaller I got this one in a size small and I also got this hoodie in a size small this one is my jam this one is my vibe everything black and orange traditional black and orange is just like my favorite Halloween aesthetic <laughs> if you want to call it that but it's like the brooms Sanderson sisters <laughs> oh my god so yeah, I think this one's absolutely adorable and I love it. This one seems like it would be the same as the last kind of tan beige colored hoodie, but it definitely seems a little bit smaller in the sleeves. They're shorter and the hood is for sure smaller than the other hoodie because I couldn't hardly even get it over my head with this hat on. I do still love it. I'm still going to wear it, but I wish that the sleeves and the hood were just a little bit bigger. Then I got another sweater like this one, except for it's black with ghosts on it. This one it does not have any ghosts on the back, but it does have one down here on the sleeve. And then it does have one on like the elbows, the back elbows, which I think is like really cute. So you get to see, I don't know, that when you're walking, someone's walking behind you. But this one's so cute as well. And I feel like you could wear these either um, buttoned up or open like I am with this one today with like a cute t-shirt under it. But these are like one of my favorite things I got. These two sweaters. Why you no shimmy jimmy? If you guys can name that movie, comment below. <laughs> but this one definitely fits smaller than the white bat sweater. It's got more of like almost a bubble sleeve, but it's really cute. <laughs> Then 
I got another sweater. It's kind of this like supposed to look shabby. Like I don't know what you call that. To me this is a scarecrow look with these like ripped up sleeves. <laughs> and the bottom is also ripped up. But it's kind of cool because it's olive green and it has like the rib cage on it. The back doesn't have anything on it. But I think it's different than like a black and white skeleton look. It's a little more neutral. It's kind of like punk rock or I don't know. But with some like ripped black jeans maybe. And I don't know. I just think it's it's pretty cozy and cute. I know that the distressed sweater was kind of trending for a while there. I don't know if it is anymore. I never actually hopped on board with that trend. But I do love distressed jeans. But this one was just, I don't know, something different from what I always wear. And I really wanted another kind of neutral colored top, but still felt spooky in Halloween. And this one's definitely soft and bouncy and it's really cute. So I'm glad that I got it and I'm excited to style this one. These might be a fail. I have not tried these on yet. I'm honestly a little scared to see how these look on me. I got them in a large because I was like looking at the measurements on there and trying to make sure I had enough room to fit all of my bits in here. But um, these are like overalls, like lucky. <laughs> so yeah, they're super long and they're definitely just made out of like a thin, I don't know, polyester or something, very stretchy. But I think they're funny, the print is funny, and I'm probably just going to wear these for like PJs around the house or something. I'm going to imagine I won't wear these out in public. Uh, we'll see how they fit me, but they're really fun, and I'm sure this is something that if I don't like it, my daughter will 100% be on board wearing these. So These surprised me so much. I don't know why I love them <laughs> so much, but I just think they're so fun and comfy, and I kind of wish I would have sized down because... The straps are not adjustable. I wish they had adjustable straps, but they're too long on me by far, so I'll probably just trim the bottom off, but the straps are also too long on me, and I feel like these are so stretchy that I probably could have even done a size small, um, but I still love them. I might even try putting a shirt under. And I almost forgot to show you, they have pockets. I think these are fun little overalls, and I'm pleasantly surprised. I've only got a couple things left to share with you guys. And these are some really cute sweatpants, lounge pants, whatever you want to call them. I got these in an extra large and I don't think that I needed to, but again, I was looking at the measurements and so if they're like Asian size measurements, I think a lot of times like it's better to size up. And when it comes to lounge pants and pajama pants, I do not like when things are tight on my stomach and, um... I don't know. I just, I would rather size up and be safe and wear like big, huge, giant ones and maybe even crop the bottom off than have something tight on my stomach when I'm sitting on the couch or snuggled up in bed. So we'll see if these fit me or not, but either way, I'm probably going to wear them and I'm pretty sure that, yeah, there's a drawstring in them. So that's even better. If there's a drawstring, you can make them tighter anyways. So size up, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure I could have got a large and been perfectly fine, but these ones did practically fit my waist and I have a 29 inch waist and it was like comfortable just a tiny bit baggy which is how I like them so they're definitely oversized everywhere else but they do have pockets and they're not like horribly long on me or anything either. Right, the last clothing thing I have to share with you is another sweater and this one is meant to look oversized. This one is a longer sweater, it's not a cropped sweater like the other two and it's really different because I always wear everything black and orange all October, sometimes all of September and October. And um, look at even the back, you guys. This one is so cute. And again, it's extremely soft and just so thick and beautiful. And uh, yeah, all of these sweaters are like super high quality. I can't believe it. And I love the colors. It's just so different from anything else that I have. So I don't know. I'm excited to try this one on and share it with you guys. This is like the perfect oversized grandpa sweater. I love it. It's just so cozy. It hides your booty cheeks if you don't want to, you know, show off your butt or you want to be wearing leggings or something. I love it. Way more open, of course. That's just how I like to wear my sweaters, but it's just precious and I adore it. 
Okay, I'm out of breath and that was a really long video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you found some awesome things that you want to get. Definitely look now because sometimes it takes, I feel like it's around 10 days every time that I've ordered from Timu so far. It can take like up to two weeks, I believe, but they gave me like a $5 gift card when that happened, so that was really awesome. If you order now, you guys still have time to get your stuff before Halloween and wear it or decorate with it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching watching my video washing my video but i'm very very glad that you're here i can't talk anymore my mouth is dry i feel like i just like talked a marathon and um let me know in the comments what things that you want to go check out at timo also let me know if you guys are having trouble finding anything and i can try to help you find links to them stay tuned on my channel if you want to see some future halloween diys um, any more try-ons. I'm going to be doing some more thrifting with me or antique shopping with me for vintage Halloween stuff, doing some decorating videos, all sorts of different Halloween stuff. And thanks again so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Boo! <laughs> Should I say that instead?